らへんにいるかもしれない Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, a man deranged, holding a Thompson out in the woods, hunting for skinwalkers. Jump and I know you're on the toilet and you're watching this, drinking your coffee, consuming your beer. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the 1928A1 Thompson gods. Gods of which who like detachable butt stocks for cleaning purposes. Today we have the 1928A1 Thompson as well as the Thompson M. One, so a big treat to go over these guns because guys, I am a World War II history appreciator. I am by no means an expert, and I want to disclaim that off the rip, that my uniform is not gonna be perfectly historically accurate, but of course, arguably the best part of this video is gonna be our guests, our Japanese reenactors. These guys are super squared away, and their stuff is very awesome. So big thank you to these guys, for as well as Americana Pipe Dream Apparel. Big thank you to those guys. Excellent Zoomers doing excellent mill surf things. Wow, what fantastic guys they are. Some of the best, I at least some of the best, wow. It, I, I'm sorry, anyway, let's dive on in the video. Brief history run of the Thompson. I'm not Ian from Forgotten Weapons, so I can't tell you what favorite snacks that, you know, Thompson liked to eat himself. But anyway, so Thompson essentially came about design around that World War I era. They're like, hey, what if we had a gun to sweep out some trenches? Mine, besides, I should say, besides the trench gun. Great idea, I love the initiative. We're seeing some good stuff, but it wouldn't really see pretty much any action in World War I. And then you would have the proliferation during the Prohibition era of the Thompson being picked up by a bunch of cool criminals. Now, that's gonna be a different variation of the Thompson, all right? That's gonna be the earlier variation. It's gonna be like a lot of times called the Chicago typewriter, where, you know, you had that booze running time where a lot of criminals getting their hands on those guns. I kind of like that era, being a prior law enforcement guy, because it's cool to see how well armored the criminals were. I know, I just said that, and I don't care. Fast forward to World War II, the Thompson gets picked up, and essentially it's in this configuration, the 1928A1 off the rip. This also takes a drum mag. In this, in this setting, I have the YouTube certified 20 round mag. All mags in this video are gonna be under 29 rounds, thanks YouTube. And then of course, there was the different variations of the Thompson M1 and the Thompson M1A1. The gun, overall, very heavy. Very cool, but this gun isn't mine. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to a wonderful friend of the channel. Nick, get on over here. Nick, thanks for coming back Great to the to channel. Beautiful piece, beautiful weapon. Now, what would you like to tell my audience? Well, it's just, uh, it, it is a beautiful weapon. I mean, the Tommy gun, and this one is marked Tommy gun. Uh, auto ordinance to copyright that term had to mark 15% of their guns with Tommy gun, which they did. Uh, start of World War II, right before World War II, the military, American military, had 400 Thompsons in inventory. At the end of the war, they had manufactured 1,750,000 between Auto Ordnance and their subcontractor, Savage. Now, Auto Ordnance had the contract, 
Savage had the facilities, so they were the subcontractor, but they started it first. Now, Nick's gonna get out of here, but we're gonna see more of Nick because we're gonna do a shooting challenge in this video as well. Now, of course, I wanna introduce you to arguably the best part about this video, our Japanese reenactors. This is actually probably one of the coolest things I've done at the channel is get actual real reenactors to come out. These guys and their attention to detail blew my mind. I am a big champ when it comes to reenacting stuff. I try and get it into the ballpark. Uh, because mainly I'm a gun channel and I, I care more about the firearms, but now they've kind of sparked the interest of reenacting. So, real quick, we got Robbie, we got John, and we got Way over here. They're all out from California, and I was like, hey, you guys, internet strangers, you want to come up and meet out with me and go shoot guns in the desert? And they're like, yeah, sure. So, make sure to plug yourself, Robbie. Yeah, so we're Hasegawa Shotai. Uh, you can find us online, hasegawashotai.org, uh, or our Facebook page, Instagram, all those types of things. Um, we're primarily like a research group mm -hmm. first, and reenacting group second. It's really like, a, it's like, there's like a portal to history. So thank you so much for at least giving me that and then giving that to my audience, guys. So thank yeah, you very course. much. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having us out. Yeah. Now with these guys and their attention to detail with the kit, the history, the reenacting, on the second channel, it's going to be a link in the description. It should pop up around here somewhere. We're going to have a long format interview where we kind of go over the reenacting, a lot of their kit, all the good stuff, the nitty gritty details. Because this video is mainly about the Thompson. So going to keep it orientated on the Thompson, having some fun and doing some shooting but you can watch that full length, long format content interview on the second channel. Spider hole. Take that. God dang. The knees. All right, gentlemen, if I sound sick, if I sound a little congested, it is because I am. I have a little bit of what we call in the biz, I am God's strongest cold survivor. So we have two of the Thompson variants here, both belong to Nick, and these things are a beauty. So we shot them quite a bit, a little more than the average Thompson person has, well I should say, more than the average bear shot a Thompson. But yet again, I have to do my disclaimer, I am not a Thompson expert, I don't have thousands of rounds on a Thompson. The US government did not pay me to run around with the Thompson and shoot a bunch of stuff. So. For the sake of Admin's quick little brief history run where you get to see a glimpse into guns and we shoot them on the channel, it's gonna, it's gonna be passable. So here we have the 1928 A1. You saw her shooting with the drum. Now from a more perspective of shooting guns, I would say this thing was actually fun to shoot and I think I like her more than the M1, mainly being gonna be the cuts compensator. And then we have the Lyman rear sight. So even though the Lyman rear sight is better, I would say, uh, technically better, I would say it is not as convenient as, say, a little hold sight like that. But I like the idea of being able to kind of look over and look through my V-notch as opposed to maybe finding a hole like that. But the Lyman rear sight actually goes up to 600 yards or 600 meters, I should say, either or. It's probably yards because we're American. We speak freedom metrics. We also have some excellent references to go over as well alongside it. With the Thompsons, we have an MP40 and we have a PPSH. 41. There is no video yet on the MP40. There will be a video on the MP40, so make sure you're subscribed to watch that in the near future. Now, I don't have a Japanese type submachine gun, but I do have an MP40, and the Thompson and the MP40 did go head to head in the European theater. So I will show you what it's kind of like to shoot both, I guess, for recoil analysis. All right. So my MP40 group is going to be on the left, my Thompson will be on the right, one second. All right, now the 28A1. Okay, now let's check out those results, the administrative oh. results. All right, here's the MP40 grouping. All in all, not too bad. All A zone is from about 11 yards away, I'd say. Thompson was a little bit wider, but it also has a higher cyclic rate of fire. So. 
Really cool little analysis. TLDR, I think the 28A1 is cooler than the M1 or the M1A1, but this is just one man's opinion. Now, the downside logistically from a war standpoint is that these cost more money to make. So you have this awesome cuts compensator up here, and you have the layman rear sight, a very advanced rear sight for a 45 ACP. It's also a cool feature on the 28A1 is the fact that it can take drum mags and stick mags. The drum mag feature would go the way of the Dodo on the later M1. Now, drum mag loading is a really interesting little thing because you have to do it from the side. So you can see that has a lock on the back right here. That's going to interface with your normal mag catch on the gun itself. So it goes in from the left, out from the right. Make it nice and easy on yourself. I like to move that mag couch out of the way. Probably do it without having to move it, but it still works. And of course, taking that mag out, slide it on out to the right. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Boom, locks on in. You can, it'll lock in without you having to interface that mag catch. So pretty cool. Definitely makes the gun when fully loaded. Very thick, <laughs> incredible, incredibly thick. That's just how we like our women. So, uh, overall, a very fun package. Dear Vera, Guadalcanal was not bussing. After the campaign, they shipped us to Australia, which was, in fact, bussing for a bit. I met a nice Australian girl and she threw it back, but then said I was going to die and broke it off. I was big sad. I even got her a leg of lamb and she still broke up with me. What is a fella to do? Anyway, I'm in New Britain now, and I'm missing Christmas. Needless to say, we don't get a lot of snow here. Ha ha. I think of you often. Feel free to write to me as much as you can. Your letters are pretty much the only thing I have for entertainment out in this godforsaken island. Love, Lecky. Big kiss, big kiss. Little kiss, little kiss. Big hug, big hug. Little hug, little hug. The stock also comes off this bad boy, so you have a button in the rear push that and the stock can come off oh i got the drum on hold on Ooh. there we go stock comes off and we're actually going to do some shooting testing with the stock on and stock off winner of the group will win some ammo provided by aac the ammo sponsor wow this guy is good it's almost like he does youtube for a full-time job oh also i will say i do love the fins the ribbed for your pleasure fins on this gun it is very i like i like i think it looks cool it adds a nice little uh Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Not a nice aesthetic, right? So I do like that a lot. Now, logistically, I understand why they would have gone away from a more tedious project. These guns were very expensive to make, and it, it does make a lot of sense. And then, of course, we all have to get a grease gun on the channel, and I would love to get a grease gun on the channel. So if you're out there with the grease gun, please let me know. But moving on to the M1, you can see that the charging handle has been moved over to the side. And then we have no cuts compensator. And we have a very simple rear sight. Now, the British would do something very interesting. And I don't know off the top of my head if they were shipped like that or if they made their own. But they would have on the 28A1s their own little fun pistol grip on the front. That classic Chicago typewriter look for the Thompson. So that's kind of a fun little detail. I think it looks cool too. So summary now, let's go over the trigger pull real quick because we are a gun YouTube channel. And apparently that's just what we have to do. Get into that trigger pull, uh, an homage to Grand Thumb. We'll pull the trigger. Uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty clean, pretty clean. I'd be using this a lot in full auto. So drop the bolt, lock it to the rear, has a reset. Pretty long reset, I'd say. So in semi-automatic, it's gonna be kind of goofy. If I was, uh, I would expect a lot of guys, you know, maybe you're assaulter type dudes with a bunch of frags running up, taking out bunkers, getting close to enemy and annihilating them with Thompsons. Makes a lot of sense in my head or the NCO or leadership having Thompsons while your riflemen put a lot of that firepower down range, also working in conjunction with your LMGs. So a lot of you guys probably have a bunch of time on the Thompsons playing video games, rightfully so, right? Battlefield, Hell Let Loose, Call of Duty, a lot of big name shooters doing what lads do and playing violent internet games that will rot in your brain and corrupt your soul. At least that's what Karen on the internet said. The worst part about the Toms, and if I had to give you my worst experience, would be the stock. The stock is ungodly bad. Getting it in the shoulder, it feels super weird. Once you finally do get it in, it does feel good. Hip firing it was actually very easy to hip fire. I found that like very intuitive. You could like walk your round in. So if you're moving around and from the hip, you had to take a shot in proximity, you could probably walk that round in very quick. So I do like that. All right, now we're gonna do a shooting challenge. We're gonna see who has the tightest shot grouping out of everyone here. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Huh. Huh. I'll be darned. Guy looks just like Lucky. All right, gentlemen, this is the game. We're gonna do two rounds, one with the stock, one without the stock, all 20 round Thompson mags. Thank you, YouTube. And the game is Titus Grouping wins. So on round one, Titus Grouping wins. 
100 rounds of ammo. These are the contestants. Bonsai! <laughs> you know what? I didn't tell them to say that, but I am very happy they did. Uh, uh, so my game, I'll go first. Here are the rules, full auto only. Titus Group wins. Uh, winner of the second round will get 200 rounds of ammo. And if I win, I'll probably get to the, to the second up, second runner up. Is that fair? Fair enough. All right, let's do it. All right, boys, round one. Oh, no. I don't think that's off to a great start. Let's check out the results. All right, not great, not terrible. Better. It should have been better. It should have been better. Wait, how do you think you did? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go check out the results. Were you shooting at this target? Mm. All right, well, I'm off to a great start. We'll go ahead and uh, swap out targets. I think I beat Wei in this competition. Uh, we'll get a fresh target and we'll get the next shooter up. All right, next up we got Robbie. Robbie, you feeling good? Yeah, I have to uh, put my glasses on so I can actually see things, so we'll see how it goes. He was worried about them calling him a farb for putting his glasses yeah, on. This is I, how hardcore these guys are. All right, Robbie. shot without the glasses, but we'll, we'll do it. We'll I do got it. faith in you. Take her away. <laughs> okay, I don't think I hit the target at all. No, uh, you, got a, you got a few on yeah, there. Yeah. It, it's, it's pretty bad. Robbie, what the heck is this? <laughs> I don't know, man. Listen, to be fair, I am that a-hole. I had more time shooting the gun. Hey, hey, I got a headshot, okay? That, that counts for... That, that counts, counts for something. something. Proud of you. Counts for something. I'm proud of you. All right, John, how you feeling? Not so great. This is uh, actually going to be really shitty. Well, you're off to a bad start. It's all in your head. I think you got it. How'd I do? John, you were aiming for the target, right? I... You know what? I guess not. John, I, I secretly had a lot of hopes on you. All right, now we have Nick, the owner of the gun. Nick, how you feeling? I feel great, I feel confident, and I just want to say one word. What is that? Photoshop. You heard the man, Savio. You better make him win. All right. Well, that was, uh, I think that looks pretty good. Let's check out. I for sure count 19. I think there's 20 on here. Uh, technically, I think my grouping was tighter. I feel like we should give him some ammo. No, we should, we should definitely give our, our guys ammo. We'll give him some ammo regardless. All right, now, next part of the challenge, we're gonna do it without the stock. I have even less faith in my boys now, <laughs> but it's gonna be fun. All right, so now, no stock. It could be anybody's game. The technique is up to you as long as you keep it safe. I kind of cheated. You guys, you guys are allowed to burst. I think I really wet the bed, though. I got two. That's probably the worst I've done so far at this game. All right, wait, how you feeling? Mama, this is All right, way you got actually no hits on paper. Um, all right, next up. All right, Robbie, how you feeling? Uh, after seeing everyone else, pretty bad, but I think I can make at least one on target. All right, Robbie, I can see you got no hits on paper, but we'll check it out just in case. Robbie, you got no hits. I'm more disappointed in you than you are in yourself. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to commit Sudoku over this one. You know what, after seeing everybody else, uh, pretty good. Ah, you know what, I like that, like a man of confidence. What the hell is even that? Okay, all right, John, let's check out those results. <laughs> all right, uh, you got nothing on paper. He pushed me. He I, pushed me. I did not, get out of here. You win. All right, I win. He wins. I win. Because I win both competitions, I get to pick who gets the ammo. Which one of you guys needs some ammo? All right, Robbie, get over here. All right, because I technically won and it's my channel. Robbie, you get to win some 5.56, five, 300 rounds of AAC coming your way. How do you feel? I'm feeling pretty good, yeah. Uh, definitely need to go shoot some more, so uh, well, definitely so, You know, it all works out in the end. All right, now let's go do the long distance shooting. So I'm thinking I'm a little bit too ambitious. I think we're only gonna do 300 meters. 300 meters with uh, 45 ACP. Sorry, 300 yards with 45 ACP is still, <laughs> it's, uh, it's what we would call in the biz a stretch. So um, what the hell, here goes nothing. Ow. Everything is sharp and hot. Let me try a semi. I 
just here it hits, dude. You know, it got in the general blanket area. That's what was impressive to me off the off the rip. So who would have guessed that maybe shooting 45 ACP past like 20 yards is gonna be a little bit tricky? Still a fun test nonetheless. You know, when the Thompson submachine gun would go on to serve long after World War II, I was doing some research and I even saw some 1928 A1s popping up in the war in Ukraine as of right now, either as captured guns or as inventory guns, which makes a lot of sense to the history of the Lend-Lease Act that the Americans did with the Russians. So even though its primary service was during World War II, it would go on and pop up like a lot of popular World War II guns do well after their inception and conception and their height of use. So as far as this gun goes, running the gun in today, yet again, it's, it goes back to that window in history, that glimpse of time where young men fought against each other and you got to see into the window of the darkest bits of humanity. Thankfully after this, I get to go back and eat some sushi and have a nice hot shower and we get to kick it and drink some fun light beer with my new IJA reenactor friends. And we are not actually trying to kill each other, but it does offer you that window to the times that they did, where existing was not as cool and getting paid to run around with the Thompson was not a vibe like it is today. So also a big thank you to Nick. Gentlemen, this has been a quick look at two Thompson variants. Maybe we'll come back and do the third. Also, MP40 video is gonna happen, so if you wanna see that happen, the full video, make sure you subscribe. If you wanna support the channel anyway, shape or form merchandise excellent way to support the channel as well as patreon patreon very good we have exclusive content on patreon my patreon will have seen this video first and as well there's a discord where guys get together and they probably also play hell let loose so that they run a thompson and hell let loose and have a good time so as always gentlemen stay easy stay breezy i will catch you guys on the flip <laughs> Cool barcode. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we have Way. Way, why don't you show us a shot and give us how it's done? Wait, what did I just say? All right, get, do your thing. <laughs>